Hey, hey, everybody. Hey, hey, internets. This is O-Dub coming at you with another episode of O-Dub Opens Some Shit. And today is another Standard Sunday. <clears throat> I'd like to uh, talk with you for a couple minutes about my thoughts surrounding events over the last two weeks in the magic world while I open some packs. Um, just so you know what we're looking for in these packs, uh, I do like to collect sets, and the big hits I'm looking for out of the sets uh, that I still need are Liliana, Dreadhorde General, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, Kaya, Orzov, Usurper, Arclight Phoenix, Nicol Bolas, the Ravenger, Crucible of Worlds, Vivian Reed, Lyra Dawnbringer, Mox Amber, and Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Those are the big hits that I still need out of these sets. Paladin of Atonement. So, <clears throat> I think the theme of Standard right now is burn, motherfucker, burn. And what do I mean by that? In the last two SCG tournaments, in Standard, three of the top eight decks were uh, mono red aggro. It's just outperforming, it's doing fantastic, and it's brutal. And what do you expect when red has just so much draw? You've got Risk Factor, Light Up the Stage, Experimental Frenzy, and Ashandra Planeswalker 2. It's stupid! So, yeah, red's gonna dominate. It is dominating. It didn't win SCG tonight. Sorry, spoiler alert. Um, but it's, I mean, they still got three in the top eight. Lannan Warleader. That's a decent hit. <clears throat> Not sure if I needed that one, but uh, he's decent. I think he sees a little bit of play. So yeah, mono red, burn, burn, burn. Whoever whoever gave red that much card draw at Wizards, they just need to be fired. So, but four of the top eight in Syracuse were Super Friends decks, and uh, you know it's really fueled by War of the Spark. The set has impacted all the formats in so many ways, and now you've got these Super Friend decks that are running a bazillion Planeswalkers, and it's just super complicated stuff. In fact. Um, while I was watching, I was watching Ryan and Todd, and they were talking about how overly complicated the board states are, and um, there were times that Ryan and Todd and Emma and Matthias, they were just utterly silenced by the complexity because it was so absurd. And, you know, I do love that. I love it when the game is complex and the players have to think, and that that's what draws me in. So I do like the state of the game. Just mono red aggro needs a tool or two taken away from it. Spark double. That was my War of the Spark pack. So, I uh, other news, other notes, other thoughts. Um, I do think Teferi Time Reveler is going to be a very big uh, post rotation. So if I were you, if you're thinking about getting a playset, you might want to go ahead and do it. Because once, once the main you know, it's hero Dominaria rotates out, I mean, you think about this Teferi Time, Ravel <laughs> Time Raveler, Time Raveler, I mean, his static ability is, is pretty good. It's, it would be it's great for Mirror Breakers. His plus one, you know, making sorceries a little more powerful, that's kind of cool. But then the minus three is bounce and draw a card. I mean, that's a kicked blink of an eye. He's got a built-in kicked blink of an eye. And you might be able to use it more than once, so... I think he's gonna, I think he's gonna continue to climb. Bounty of Might. Alright, this has uh, not been great so far. This has not been great. Here we go. Goring Ceratops. Oh, that sucks. All right, two packs left. So the beer I'm drinking is Brewdog Jet Black Heart. Mm. 
and um, it is a it is an oatmeal stout with vanilla, um, and it's got nitrous or a, a nitrous disc inside, so that it gets a, a really foamy head. Um, if you've ever had like Guinness with the nitrous or the, or the nitro or whatever the fuck they call that, but anyways, it is a excellent beer. The flavor is outstanding. It's so smooth. It's got nice complexities, nice darkness to it. The vanilla is very subtle. And if you like stouts, if you like oatmeal, I love oatmeal stouts. One of my favorite stouts. Oh, I'm gonna open this one last. It's it's one of my favorite styles. And I found this last week, and this is the second six pack I've bought. It is it is delicious. It is very good. And it's only like 4.7%. It's really low alcohol volume, but the flavor on it, I, I can't even describe it to you. I'm not good at describing beers. It is so good. So, clear the stage. Collision, collision Colossus, Fireblade Artist, Tithe Taker. All right, I think I've already got one of those. I think it might be worth like two bucks or something. Nothing super fancy. So this is my last pack. I want to thank you all for tuning in to my standard Sunday, listening to my little rants about what I think, why I think mono red aggro needs to get weaker. And yeah, that's that's what I think. So, oops, Spore Swarm, Shield of the Realm, Orcish Vandal, Grand Warlord Radha. Ugh. Oh, that, that hurts. Oh, that's, that's painful. All right. Well, thanks, everybody. And thank you for watching tonight. I'm afraid I really didn't hit anything, anything super good. That Leanna and War Leaders and the Tithe Taker are probably the best things. But uh, anyhow, I hope your polls are better than mine.